Good morning. This is session number three of our um, 10, one hour or 20, 30 minute yoga at the Athens County Library. Get fit, get happy, uh, get into your body. So I'm Rebecca Wood and I'm thrilled to be here and I certainly miss the class and all the people who are usually here, but someday Shelby assures me who is our amazing uh, technical advisor here today, that someday the library will be open again. So we hope. Now Shelby's going to be doing some of these um, in the chair, so we're very excited. Uh, if we get to chuckling, you'll just have to not know what the joke is between Shelby and I. But we're going to have fun with some chair poses, and then again we'll move to review a few standing poses that we did last week, and we'll get down on the ground and do a few more um, on the ground poses. Take a little break and then we'll do another 30 minute segment. So we'll see how that goes. Again, be safe in your home or your practice space if you need. If you have slippery floors, have a yoga mat underneath your chair with at least two legs. Uh, some of the props we use, blankets folded neatly. Sometimes you'll have some types of support for knees, ankles, etc. Uh, we have yoga blocks that we might be using and a yoga strap. And today I also have, and I like using these, there are bands in a variety of classes. I've doubled these up because they're not very uh, strong in their tensile strength, but you can get a packet of a variety of strengths uh, at almost any sports store. And this can very easily work on some isometric type muscle toning very quickly. So we are going to use a little bit of these today in our warm-ups, and our standing poses, and in our sitting poses. And these are things you can do while you're watching a movie, uh, visiting with some friends. Maybe a few of you want to get together and do some of these activities. Posture is always is core and breath and just personal body awareness. Uh, you can have a water bottle here with you if you would like. But your body is your guide. I don't know exactly what you're feeling today. so. Align yourself, be parallel, usually stacking the joints. In this case, it's going to be knees over ankles. And Shelby's doing a great job of mimicking me here. Pull the flesh a little bit away from the sit bone so you have a bigger triangular base to sit on. The ribs are going to gently go down as the transverse abdominis or pubis comes up. Belly button up and in underneath the uh, towards the backbone, like your belly button wants to kiss your backbone. Oh, nice, Jenny. Roll those shoulders to your ears and float them down the back. So the scapulas are heavy, the armpits are heavy. Palms can rest about halfway up the thighs. And take just a few minutes of grounding. Checking in, how are you feeling, what do you need? Remember, this is your yoga. I like to engage one sits bones and release, so I create this little serpentine rocking action for a moment or two. Let the head just loll. It's at the end of the, the wave. And then both sits bones, slightly engaged, core and spine lifting, sitting tall. Gentle pressure with the feet into the earth. That feedback, that uh, feedback loop. Communication with you and the world around you. You can just take a few minutes before any practice with any breath work that works for you. You can do that. <clears throat> oh. Inhale for the count of four, pause for the count of five, exhale to the count of eight. There's various versions of that, but find what works for you. Every exhalation, the core is engaging a little more. Not strenuously, but just gentle squeeze and activate the muscles. Every exhalation. Good. I'm going to start with feet apart. I'm going to do these in a moment. We're just going to stretch out. I'm going to move towards the end of my chair, hands on my knees. And we're going to hope that Shelby won't come crashing through the, the video stand here. But she's gonna, we're going to stretch out to the 
right, inhale up, and stretch out to the left, inhale up, out to the right, so I'm mirroring you, inhale up, and over to the left, excellent, inhale up, and walk those feet together. Take the right hand under the right knee, bring the right ankle over. We did this last week. Working on the piriformis, your external rotators of the hips. Doesn't take much of a movement. So lift with the inhalation up and in. Exhale, just gently lean forward in the amount. It doesn't take much to feel uh, that uh, piriformis. Caution of the knee. If, if it's torquing the knee, let me know or check in, or perhaps this isn't something for you to do today. Inhale, lifting, lengthening the spine. Exhale, contemplation, mudra. And maybe a tiny bit more forward. Good. Two or three breaths here. And inhale. All the way up, release that right leg. Run it out for a moment. Move those arms. Inhale up and down. Opposite side, left hand behind left <clears throat> knee. Ankle sitting on opposite knee. Might feel very different on this side. We're all very different. We all have issues that we want to work around. Lift, and if it's possible, just lengthening the spine ever so slightly forward. Hands can be resting on the inner part of the lower left leg for support. But the spine is straight. We're not curving over. Inhale, lift, and if you want to exhale a tiny bit more. And sometimes it's just the idea of moving. Give this a few minutes to sink in, let the fascia release, let the muscles and let the ligaments and tendons release. And hands supporting the inner leg and up and release. I'm going to do a couple different seated poses today. We're going to come around and be at a, a diagonal in our chair. We're going to drop our hand, our, our right hand, arm to our right thigh, pushing the left foot gently into the earth. Float the left arm open so we get a big opening to the world. The whole torso is opening up, palm up, reaching out, activate those muscles in the arm. Up into eye position with the left hand, and you can look up at that hand if it's comfortable for your neck, reaching through the feet so you're lifting up out of the torso, and even over if you're able, into a beautiful shoulder side angle. Breathing, lifting, lengthening. Palm to the heavens, float it up, and take a moment. Check in. You need to circle the neck once or twice. That's just fine. Remember, your body is your guide. We're going to take that left leg and move it all the way to the right. And I'm sitting a little bit out, but I have my back hand on the top of the chair for support if I need. The front leg, we'll just say, is going to drop down. So scooch this outer buttock off if it needs to be there. And we're going to slide that front leg backwards any amount that you can. So the leg is going to be in front of the chair leg, shall we? Good. So you're not going to get stuck in the chair. Walk that front foot as close to under the ankle as you can get. And gently move the hip points over the bent back leg. If you need the stability of the chair, you have it. If not, reach the arms down. Inhale up and reach through that back heel. We're doing seated warrior one, Dravidrasana one. Inhale, reach up. 
exhale, scissors. Yes, shall we go float that top arm, the front arm back, and the back arm forward to seated warrior two. Palms up, inhale up, spin back around to warrior one. Lift, and here we go to a seated warrior three. We're going to reach forward as we extend the back leg and bring our torso over the front thigh. Beautiful, pushing gently through the front leg. Inhale up, bending back leg. Exhale, warrior two. Swoop the arm down so we can catch the back leg. Bring it up to rest and pause. Excellent. Scooch back just a little bit in your chair so you're a little more comfortable and centered. You also have that back rim that you can hold on to. Roll those shoulders a few times. Ear to shoulder a couple times. Core is on. Knees over ankles. Good. Inhale, float the arms up. Reach up, and I'm going to spin away from you here. I'm going to spin the whole torso to a gentle twist backwards and float my hands to either side of the chair back and breathe here for a moment. Don't overdo twists. Always lift on the inhalation. Squeeze and twist on the exhalation. A little twist goes a long way. Two or three breaths here. Feet firmly planted into the earth. And inhale, lift. Exhale, float back. Wonderful. Take a moment to absorb the pose. The pause is as important as the pose. Take a step as you move forward and around to the other side. We'll do both sides here. Again, our legs are uh, a fairly wide stance with the corner of the chair. And we're going to lean our opposite arm down, our back arm down, onto the thigh. Good. And depending on your hips, your issues, this is a pretty good stretch right here. So you can put the hand on the hip and encourage it down as you put the core on. Open your heart as you twist this whole thoracic cavity open. You're reaching the lower arm out against the inside of the knee. Breathe. It's like I'm hugging the whole world here. Exhale and inhale. Stretch it up into eye position. So the right hand is in eye position. Active muscles. And one more position if your body is receptive of it today. It's up like an arrow shaft over the left side of the torso. Keep reaching the opposite hip down. Rotate palm to the heavens and pull yourself up. Good. Feel the asana. Go ahead and draw that leg around. Come a little more forward in your chair. We're going to have that outside hip. This is mine. Left hip this time, slightly off the chair. Drop the left knee. I can hold onto the back of the chair if I need for support. Adjust so you feel safe and comfortable. Again, you don't want to be on any slippery sliding surface with your chair. So my back uh, toes are curled under, and I'm going to slide that back leg, the outside leg, as far back as I can. This is a nice stretch here for the psoas, the hip flexor. I'm going to work the front ankle under the knee to a point where I can push through both feet and get a little levitation here. So the core and the muscles of the body are doing the work. Excellent. We're going to float the hands up, look up, reach up, warrior one. Seated, beard, dress in one. Lift. Inhale up, exhale, warrior two, Virbhadrasana two, good. And try to open those arms. 
a little more challenging season. We're not leaning way forward. We're drawing back and lifting up through the spine. Inhale up, rotate forward to warrior one. Now we're going to inhale, reach, and exhale, extend out into warrior three. Virabha Dressing at three. Inhale up, exhale, warrior two. Swoop the back hand down and around to capture that leg. Spin it up. And take a seat in the middle of your chair. Fabulous. Take a moment, adjust so that you can be in the middle, both buttocks on the chair. Inhale, float both arms up. Reach and spin to the back of the chair and plant the hands on either side of the chair for a nice twist. You can gently push and pull with the hands, but don't overdo it. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, twisting. And inhale, lift. Exhale, float. Back to neutral. Take a moment and pause. And step around to the front of the chair again. So there you go, three different seated poses. You're addressing a one, two, and three, and actually four side angle. Great. Do a little interval training here. Maybe we'll jog somewhere. Where do we want to go? I don't know. There's so many, so beautiful here right now. So getting the arms pumping, getting the cardiovascular system working, and you can do that for a minute or two. You'll be surprised how uh, you can get your heart rate up. So you can do this with one uh, TheraBand, but these are pretty wimpy. <laughs> so I'm going to do two, and I'm going to rotate them around my hand so I don't have to hold on. Holding on if you have arthritis or joint problems may be a problem. So you can just roll and have the hands flat if you need. I'm going to adjust it so it's about shoulders width apart. And this is a lot more work than you think it may be. So I'm going to drop the shoulders down my back. You could do these standing and sitting and laying down, even in bed. So no excuses not to get your isometrics and your, your training workout in. So right here is good work. Lifting the core, ribs going down, transverse abdominis up. And I'm going to pulse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. I'd like to see you do that and repeat that three different times, maybe even a couple times a day. I gave myself a tiny bit more room. You just have to keep adjusting to make it comfortable for you. Inhale as I put some tension on the TheraBands into Y position. Y position. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold, pause, reach, breathe. Activate the muscles in the arms and draw it down the back. So now we're working the lats and down the front. My spine is straight. Down the back and I'm pulling out. So this is a little bit of work. I'm a snipping and snapping. Very bottom. And down the front. All my muscles are engaged. This will tone up the muscles in your arms very quickly and in the upper back. And here we are in semi happy cactus. And we're going to pulse again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep the tension. Reach up, down, and take a break. I know you're breathing hard just like I am. So these are great activities to be able to do, and anybody can do these. It's really good for the lats, activating and strengthening those muscles, the scapulas in the back, the rhomboids, the rectus spinae, all sorts of flexibility in the shoulder girdle. But just do it cautiously. 
one more little seated position, and then for the next 30 minutes, we'll do standing and down on the ground. But we're going to take the therabands around one foot. We're going to walk our hands down towards the um, foot as close as possible. Bring, and again, these are pretty lightweight tension. I like a little stronger. Be cautious as these get older. Sometimes they'll break. <laughs> We've had a few break at different times. So I'm bending the knee up to the chest as much as possible. That's a lot of work. And I'm stretching it out and in. And out and in. And out, mindfully. The leg is doing the work, not my whole body. Out and in. Out as I take the same side arm as leg and reach up to the end of the TheraBand, holding on to the outside of the chair, sitting and lifting tall, seated Padagustasana, out and in. So this is the action of the piriformis, the hip rotators. The core is engaged. This is what's getting us in and out of the bathtub, in and out of the car. Stepping up and over a curve. And in, reaching around both hands, flexing the foot, softly releasing, and down. Adjust a little as you need. Pause, take it in. Notice any sensation streaming in that side of the body compared to the other. And then the opposite side. Again, the double straps are a stronger strap around the ball of the foot, reaching down towards the ankle, bring the knee in. I can feel a considerable difference in this hip flexor. And stretch it out and in and out, and in. So we're using some resistance, and in. What did the Bork say? Resistance is futile. But this is good resistance. Sometimes resistance is a good thing. And in, and out. I'm reaching around with the same side hand, and opening into Padagustasana. The torso or the hips are forward. You can use the chair for support. Breathe. And in. And out. And in. And out. It's much trickier standing. <laughs> but you can do it on the ground, too. And in. Support both sides. Flex the knee. Release. And we'll let our therapeutes go. Hmm. Take a moment. Good. We can do a seated Uttanasana. We'll end with that and then come back into just a moment or two of breath. Take a few minutes break. I believe we're getting close. And then we'll uh, start with some standing and some on the mat poses. So if it's OK with you, lean over a little forward so that the elbows can rest on the knees. You're out towards the end of your chair. If it's okay with your blood pressure, you can reach hand to hand to the ankles. The spine is long here. Let the belly sink between the thighs. Adjust if you feel like you're too far out and you're going to fall over. We don't want that happening. You can have blocks here on the ground. The hands can Rest on blocks, the earth, let the whole head go. You can even clasp the elbows, inhale. And just to mix up your habits, shift the cross. And then let the hands to the earth, hands to ankle, ankle. 
elbow to knee, taking a moment, letting your blood flow, adjust, hand to knee, and up. Comfortable sitting, roll the shoulders a few times, bring your hands to namaste hands, Push gently together the palms so you're feeling some action there. Shoulders down the back, core on. A little secret smile on your lips. We're going to feel the breath of life underneath our forearms. Your breath. Unique to only you. It's the first thing that you experienced when you were born. That big inhale. It follows you throughout your entire life. It can bring you back to the present moment at any time. You can feel it when you're anxious or in fear but with some breath control and breath work, you can allow your breath to work for you in calming you down and creating stress resiliency and activating the vagal nerves. Right now, let's just feel that special breath. As you inhale, can you feel the forearms lifting, the elbows lifting in and out just a little? The bucket handles of the ribs opening up, and exhale down. One more beautiful awareness breath, your breath. The last thing that will leave you as you move from this world to the next is the big exhale. Bring your hands to your third eye, your sixth chakra. Your seat of intuition. Feel the breathe, breath, feel the pause, the pulse of life. And open the hands, the palms to the heavens, softly holding the energy, the love that's floating down into your palms to be received. Start center namaste. We'll take a little break and set up for the next 30 minute segment. Thank you for joining in.